I wanted to share a project with you which I've been working on for uh, probably a couple of weeks or maybe just a few days now and uh, this is a bit of electronics and also something uh, related to trains so what I have here is a Maclean uh, central station and connected to this central station I have an accessory decoder which is a four channel servo decoder so this is um, pla I'm planning to use this to control my points on my layout and if you wouldn't know the the way Maclean implemented their digital train control system the units like the central station or the mobile station and some of the other components they talk over canvas and then once the at the the end of the canvas line there is a box which is built into this unit but uh, on a mobile station you have a different connector box and that converts the the canvas messages to the messages which go to the track and to the you know the decoders and the trains and the locomotives everything and i figured that well my ESP32 has a CAN bus controller, so if I buy a CAN bus transceiver, which is basically just doing the signal conditioning, then uh, hopefully I can connect it to my central station, what you can see here. So this is an ESP32 ESP ESP microcontroller, some sort of development board. And this is a, a very cheap, like, uh, I think I paid two pounds to two and a half pounds on AliExpress. And that's just a, a CAN bus transceiver. And I have the two lines here, the CAN low and the CAN high lines. And they are connected to one of the input of the central station. So it's all documented where you have the CAN bus lines on the central station. And the idea was that what if I can use this to listen to the messages and then maybe learn how you know, what are the messages that are needed to control points. And if I can send the same messages, hopefully I can control my points as well. And actually it has been much easier than I thought because uh, while well, everything here is, you know, pretty much standard, the CAN bus is standard, so you just buy off the shelf products and you can co uh, talk, communicate on the CAN bus. So I have the central station configured. So um, out of the two channels, uh, I'm using chan uh, the first two channels. I only have two servos at the moment and I've configured it to listen on uh, DCC uh, channel 1 and 2. So the uh, station number is, is 1 and 2 and you can see that if I toggle the point then the servo moves. Um, for some reason it moves very little and I haven't been able to configure the, the, uh, the upper and lower limits but you can see that I can control the servos from my central station. So what I've also done is that this ESP32 is listening on the canvas lines here and I've created a small sketch which basically listen to these messages. So if I switch my points then we can see a couple of messages uh, going through this canvas line and um, I mean after playing around with it I managed to figure out that the, the messages that are uh, responsible for controlling points are basically this one where the ID is uh, 161677 5E so this, these are all in hex and um, the other great help is that the the mode bus communication for Maclean is all documented so I was able to look up the documentation and I could figure out that the message ID is well it's indeed is 167755F sorry 5E and then uh, the, the payload that you send out or at the actual mode bus or CAN message is uh, 0000 and 38. And because I'm using DCC uh, for Maclean, it would be 30. And the next byte is the, the address. And uh, for me, it's address one is the first relay, but uh, we are sending it as zero. So it's basically one less. And the next byte is the direction so it can accept either one and zero in this case so it's a simple point and then um, you send out two more messages on the first message this uh, byte what is it six is one and then you send out a zero which is basically like you know energize the let's say the relay uh, back in the old terms it probably would have been relays not servers and that's pretty much it so i thought well this looks you know fairly simple so what if I get my ESP to send out the same messages and I was able to do that. So I have like four, mess four buttons here. So point one set to straight. Uh, unfortunately, I think I've done the other way around because this should be diverging and the other one would be straight. But you can see as I press the buttons, the servo moves and you can also see the central station display 
changing as I'm sending the messages. And I can do the same with the second servo or the second point. Now it's straight, so diverging and now it's straight. So I just need to change the labels. I haven't realized that I've, I've done them the other way around. So, fairly simple. And the whole reason I'm doing all this project because I have an outdoor gauge one layout and I don't really like screens. So, for example, I don't use the, uh, the central station outside, I use a mobile station. And I want to be able to control the points from a custom built uh, like layout where you have buttons, physical buttons, so I don't have to use a screen. So the idea is that I would have a second ESP32 where it would have all the buttons connected to it and then that would talk with this unit over wireless, uh, just normal Wi-Fi, and that would relay the messages onto the CAN bus. So my controller is going to be wireless, I can just walk around with it over the um, around the layout and control my points. So that should be sweet and based on this proof of concept, well, it's working like a charm. So stay tuned for further project updates. I'm pretty sure that I will be posting a few videos on this one. And of course, once the, the code for the CSP gets a little bit mature, I will also put it up on GitHub. So you can do the same project if you want. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.